Hello, how are you? I hope you're well, that you've had a good week um, and that you're looking forward to Easter. In fact, it may well be Easter now when this video is up, so happy Easter. Um, I'm really looking forward to a few creative, lazy days, and I hope you are too. A few, a couple of exciting things to tell you about today and a few things that I am doing and have finished. Uh, yeah, so I'll just show you what I've done. So the first embroidery that uh, I finished is a little one that I started a while ago and it's a little chamomile, which I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, if there'll be some glare. And I put it in a little frame actually because it's really nice to, I wanted to put some embroideries up on the wall and have them around the house. And it's only a little sweet embroidery, a simple little embroidery of a chamomile plant, but I really, really love that. And I'm going to do some more, I've really enjoyed it. And I have lots and lots of books on wildflowers and chamomile, which is one that I love. So I thought I would do it. I'm going to do another couple of daisy plants actually and also, oh, I've got lots and lots of things I want to do at the moment. I think it's maybe the time of year. I mean, I love spring and obviously I love summer. I love all the seasons, but I love that nesting that you do in winter. But actually being able to sit outside in the sunshine with blossom and stitch or reed is heaven. And it just makes me feel very creative. And the type of embroidery actually that I'm doing, I've started another little embroidery which is a, a grass. This one is actually, I think it's called quaking grass. Um, and I think it's named because of the way it, it, um, it seems to shake and, and the sway in the breeze. And it's just really simple and it's going to be a long embroidery. No idea yet how I'm going to go about framing that. And I've done it on some old linen. This was a really beyond repair. Uh, ooh, I don't know if it was a tray cloth or a tablecloth and it was just beyond repair. It was too much. And so I have decided to use it in stitching. So that's lovely. And so that's quaking grass. I might do some more of them actually. I've got a lovely book on um, a meadow a year in the meadow and I might do some more of those. I love grasses. It's something actually I wouldn't mind in the garden. And I watched, um, I was catching up actually on Gardener's World, lovely Monty Don. This was about two weeks ago now and he was talking about ferns that he put in his garden. Bit of a digression there, but ferns and grasses I'd like to get in the back garden. So yeah, I've been enjoying doing that. And I do, I keep, I keep things in little project bags and and I come across, I suddenly come across them and I think oh, I'd forgotten all about that one. And that and this one, the chamomile, was one of those. I started it at the beginning of the year and completely forgot about it. So that was a nice find. Um, what am I going to tell you about? I've got a couple of things I'd really like to tell you about actually. And then I'll show you the, and then I'll show you the other thing afterwards. I've got a little giveaway coming up, actually, which I'll tell you about later. We announced a new little club a couple of weeks ago, which was a yarn club, um, which I will talk about in a minute. But we have another little club we, that is starting this Friday. So actually, probably, it's either going to be tomorrow or today, depending on when this video actually goes up, but it's in the shop Friday. And it is our minis club. So our other club is a, is a yarn club, because sometimes it will be um, a sock set, sometimes it will be a skein standalone on its own and other times there may be some minis in that one too and that's based on uh, favourite books. But our new club is called the Botanist Club and Chris and I, my son who I work alongside, we, um, oh, we love nature, we're out in it as much as we possibly can be and so this was kind of a natural progression really. So it's called the Botanist Club and it's all going to be mini skeins and each month we're going to study a particular plant or any aspect of the world that is flora. 
and sort of take you along and teach you what we've learned about it. Um, because all too often, I think, with plants, you know them, you recognise them, but actually their history and their the folklore, if you like, and the uses they've had in the past, I think are fascinating. So we hope that you, it's something that you'll be interested in. So it's called the Botanist Club and our first one, I'll put a few little clues on Instagram the other day, but our first one is going to be the Honeysuckle because it's a plant I love. It's got so much tradition and history to it and it's beautiful. So we thought that's going to be our very first one. The club is going to be, uh, the colours of the club are going to be quite delicate, soft, gentle colours, not pastels, just gentle and mellow. And it's not necessarily going to be a fade from one month to the next, but all the colours will gel and actually will mix together beautifully. So if you wanted to do a blanket or something like that, it would, you can probably mix and match them. They'll all go together, the same as nature does. Um, if you look out into your garden or you're in the countryside, things don't clash, do they? They just, nature knows how to do it. So I'm actually looking at some lovely blossom out there as well. We agonised over what our first one was going to be, but and that's what we've decided to do. So that's our first thing we wanted to tell you about. So that's our new minis club, the botanist club, and that is going to be in the shop Friday, probably today. I'm just going to tell you, show you our butterfly yarn and then I'll talk to you about the little giveaway. So our, and I know some people are doing butterfly blankets. So butterflies, I'm just thinking of whether you people would want to incorporate the, the botanist club minis as well, whether they'll all go because some of these are, some of the butterfly colourways are just a little bit bolder because butterflies are or can be really bold. This is our third one actually in our Papillon collection, our butterfly collection, and this one is cranberry blue. And it's the cranberry blue butterfly, which you find in Finland, Northern Europe, Canada, I think, North America, I believe. And the, this colorway is the underwing. And then these are, the male and female are different. But this is our interpretation of the cranberry blue. The minis. Now, having said that, there aren't actually any in the shop at the moment. They have sold out, but we are going to be restocking them. But so you can see what they look like. And this is the mani, which we haven't done the underwing colour on that one. So that's just the, just the top. So yeah, we hope you like those. Uh, and that's the Papillon collection, that's number three, and there are going to be more all throughout the year. So the next thing that I wanted to talk about was the book club, not the book club, the little bookshelf yarn club, which is based on um, favorite stories, books, things, so modern masterpieces, as much as perhaps childhood classics, um, all sorts all sorts and I did say if there's any particular book that you would love to see because Chris and I have got a list as long as you're on this is probably going to go on for way longer than a year the way we're talking about it so anyway our first one was Pride and Prejudice and we were so thrilled by your reaction to it um, and that is going to be so the first one has now sold out but the second one will be coming up in two weeks time by which time the first one will have shipped. And I love Pride and Prejudice. It was one of the first books I ever read. And um, I just think you can reread it. I, I studied it too. And I think you can read each reading, you can get something different from it. I love it. And one of my favorite quotes is Mr. Darcy, when he says to Elizabeth, you must allow me to tell you how ardently I admire and love you. And I stitched a little bag, so I was, I thought how lovely to stitch that onto a bag with just a little posy of um, pink lavender. And it's got pretty, so this is on vintage cotton and then it's got some pretty um, 
like a ditzy floral lining and it comes with a little lavender bag and I'll pop you a progress keeper on there as well and so if you would like and I thought that would be nice to do that's a little giveaway so if you would like to win that little bag then enter a comment below if you could like and subscribe that would be very nice and if you could leave so let me think I would say what's your favorite quote from Pride and Prejudice but you may not have read Pride and Prejudice so what is your favorite quote or scene if you can't remember a quote from your favorite book that's a good one it can be anything it can be childhood or a recent one um, yeah so leave a comment below and happy for to send this anywhere and we'll probably pop you in a skein of yarn as well so if you would like to win that little bag and I'll announce it on the next um, podcast. Now, that's the other thing. So usually on the Stitchy podcast, Vloggy Pod, whichever, and we, people know it by different names, um, there's a little vlog at the end. And we've been doing some other little videos that we've been calling Chronicles. And we've had so many lovely messages from people who have enjoyed them and it, they've found them calming perhaps they've been going through a difficult time or day and they've loved it and that's it was really lovely and we we thought about it and we thought we wanted to give that its own space so what we've decided to do is we've started a new um, YouTube channel called the untrodden ways so if you want to go over there I'll leave a link below if you'd like to go over there and like and subscribe and because we're Billy no mates at the moment and uh, we've just literally started it and it's going to be a kind of a, a lifestyle channel more so it's going to be more how we like to live the things we do the simple things maybe we cook where we go our, um, some of Chris's artwork um, you'll see his what inspires him what inspires me and hopefully the idea is that we can inspire you and it's called the untrodden ways because Again, we spent so long thinking about this name. The Untrodden Way is actually, it's a Wordsworth poem, is where the words have come from for me, one of my favorite poems. And then Chris was talking about one of his favorite lines of poetry, which I think was Byron. And it is, there is a pleasure in the pathless woods. I can't remember what poem it actually comes from now. I think it's, I can't remember. And we both had this feeling of, we both love those words from different poems because they both give us a feeling of what's out there still to do. It's about creativity and what you can still do. Not a huge thing, not, we're not talking about traveling around the world, but maybe going up that track you've never gone up or actually deciding you're going to pick up a piece of embroidery and do it or whatever it is, there's just, there's so much possibility out there in life that you can do very simply and it's kind of a more creative outlet really so so the stitchy podcast will continue to be with me sitting here waffling on um, but the untrodden ways will be where the um, the little videos the vlogs are going to live they're going to have a new little home so if that appeals to you yeah come over and say hello and um, as I said, I'll put the link below. But we're really excited about it. It's something we've been thinking about for a long time. And we both often think, oh, I'd love to show that. I'd love to do that. And so this is our opportunity to, to show you what we do. So I hope you come and say hello. So just to finish, really, what I've been watching. So Hugh Laurie has done um, an adaptation of an Agatha Christie book called Why Didn't They Ask Evans and it's got a great cast Emma Thompson, Jim, Jim Broadbent, lots and that is on I believe Britbox when I've just cancelled my subscription from Britbox because I was you know I'm spending too much money on all of these subscriptions but I think it's on Britbox um, and I think it's split into three so that's going to be good Easter watching. I love a Poirot or a bit of Agatha Christie over Christmas or Easter it's like the law and uh, there could be something on TV, I don't know, actually, but I'm going to watch that. And then somebody, I'm so sorry, I can't remember your name. 
I mean, that's typical me, um, who suggested a film called Delicia. Delicious. Oh, absolutely. I looked it up right up my street. So I'm going to try and watch that and try to find somewhere to watch it. I mean, films can be really expensive, can't they? You can easily find it £16 or something to buy a film. So if I can watch it on one of my subscription channels or something, I will. So I'm going to try and find that. And thank you for all your lovely suggestions on books, some lovely books that you suggested as well um, after me talking about the Little Bookshelf Yarn Club last time that on my list. So thank you for that. So if there's anything that you would recommend watching, leave a comment, let me know, because I do like that. And I'm also, when I finish watching something, I'm like, now do I, what do I watch? Um, something quite lighthearted. This Agatha Christie one apparently is, is a bit of a comedy. And I'm really pleased that you love the book cover. I wouldn't call it a book cover tutorial, but I did so much as more just a sew, a sewing video on the book cover. But I'm glad you enjoyed that. And quite a few of you messaged me to say um, that you're making it or you're going to make it. So I'm really pleased about that. I'm going to be doing another one soon on little needle. I've got lots and lots of little needle books, needle cases that I make because every time I have a project, I have a needle, I've got different um, threads and needles and they all go in different bags. So I'll show you how I make one of those as well. And thank you so much if you signed Nancy's petition um, after me mentioning it on the last podcast. So Nancy is avocado fairy and she has terminal brain cancer and she is trying to get 100,000 signatures to on her petition to get uh, a new form of treatment called Optune um, available as a treatment. It's a huge killer for people under the age of 40 and doesn't proportionately get the funding that other cancers do. So thank you so much if you signed it. I believe you have to be in the UK and if you didn't, pop and sign it now, because it'll only take you a second and it'll make such a difference. She's on over 30,000 now. So thank you so much for watching and have a lovely Easter. And I will see you hopefully next week.